everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood DIYer, and I am excited for this episode. We are tackling a few fun DIY thrift flips that are all going to live in my backyard space. Woo! I want, no, I need to give this space a little refresh, some sparkle, will you, to make it feel more summer ready. The best part about all this, my friends at Bear thought this sounded like a lot of fun too, so they challenged me to try and flip all of my backyard thrifted items using their brand new spray cans. They got 18 color choices, and I thought this challenge sounded so much fun that I took to my Instagram stories asking all of you to help in the decision making too. So you guys wait in on the creative decisions for one of the projects and I tell you you did not let me down I'm excited to jump into this awesome backyard refresh episode so we can share all that outdoor fun so with that said editor roll that tape Boop. Oh, hello, welcome to my backyard. It's lovely. For this backyard space, I wanna focus here, in this space right here, this little nook back here, and this little workout area here. This is the kind of like front stoop porch area. It's got a door. There was a screen door here at one time and that screen door is gone. So I'm hoping that we can do something to replace, find a new door. And uh, you know, it's got a light that I'm not particularly the biggest fan of. Like it's a nice light, it's just not my style. And uh, we got a barbecue. Cause who doesn't want a barbecue in the summer? So this little area, it's got a little pergola. It's actually one of my favorite spots in the backyard. This is a place where I sit in the mornings, um, especially on weekends, and uh, it's my happy place. Like some of the best creative ideas happens in this chair. You know, I was thinking, what would look really awesome in this backyard if we did like a built-in fireplace in that hill and then over in the corner we could do like a spaceship doghouse for Kenobi that's got like working lights and all this like cool smoke that comes out the bottom. I think we could do it. I think whoa, it would look whoa, amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I mean, keep your ideas on a simmer down. This is a budget friendly channel over here and you know, we gotta keep these ideas on this planet. Whoa. Well, I just call you an idea party pooper. I think it's brilliant. I think I need to like look at you more. I need more like, I don't know where I went. So one of my favorite things about this space is actually the chairs. So these are called long pause chairs and they are made from 100% recycled plastic, which I love. So I got to meet the, a founder named Ashley Gorey. She founded a company called Unwasted and she just taught me so much about recycled material. Like, did you know there is 8 million tons of plastic that enters our landfills and oceans every single year and only 9% of that plastic is reused and recycled. So she came up with the company Unwasted where she is creating beautiful furniture pieces out of all of that recycled material. She's just doing great things. So if you're interested to learn more about her furniture and do something good for the environment, then I will link everything in the description box below. But these are super great, very comfortable and um, I love them. We also have these lanterns. I actually don't think I'm gonna keep the lanterns here. I think I wanna move them into the tree. All right, so the next area is like the lounging area. I call it the nap spot because we take naps here. <laughs> you guys might recognize this little couch. I actually built this DIY, this couch last summer. Oh, even from a distance, it looks good. Hey, doo -doo 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 -doo. I have a few items that I want to build into this space. I just haven't had the time and now, that time is now. We have a few things. Um, this is a thrifted item. Actually, it was a gifted item. It was given to me. I love it and I want to put it on the wall because I felt like, you know, this little area needed something here, but I do want to give it a little spray paint update. I also have this table. This was the project that you guys weighed in on on Instagram. So as you know, we're going to be doing a ceramic tile on this. So stay tuned because we're going to come to that project. And on top of that, I thrifted this lovely industrial light you know now that we kind of have our color scheme and we're we're going to be working in a new space 
I think we need to give it a little update too. And then this area, this is kind of fun. I love kickboxing. I missed kickboxing. So I decided to bring the kickboxing to me. So in the nicer weather, I do this in the summertime so that I can do it outside. And then I ended up thrifting these lockers behind here. So there's two sets of lockers here. They were $100 each. I want to make it a little bit more fun. They're blue right now, but I think, you know, it's making me feel kind of blue. So we're going to give it some color. <laughs> So we have one last area and uh, we're almost done. So this table I actually got last summer. I feel like the gray isn't doing it for me and I would love to give it the chairs like a little bit of an update. So I'm excited about that because they're all made of wicker. So uh, I think they'll spray paint up very nicely. So that basically sums up the backyard uh, where we're going to be focusing our efforts and uh, let's go DIY. Okay friends, so this is my thrifted table. I wanna add some cool tile on top. So like I said, I went to you on Instagram and you guys weighed in on the options. I first asked which geometric tile design would we be tackling and 63% of you went for the fun wavy lines. Love it. I then asked if we wanted to see multiple colors used or keep it simple and 60% of you said keep it simple and I agree with you. I then asked if we should go bright and bold with our colors or use more common natural ones. And 68% of you said, let's go common natural. Very popular right now. And last, I asked if the base should be black or off-white. And this was a close one, but the off-white one at 55%. There's a lot of good things working for this table and some bad things. The good things working for it is that the legs are made of wood and the base is really good. There's good hardware still attached to it. The bad thing about this table is the top. It's made of MDF and it has all of these like bubbles that have started to rise up now because it probably got wet from being on the side of the road. Um, so I think we're going to have to replace the tabletop, which is fine. We want this to be a little bit more durable anyways. The base is really good and it's all about that base. Let's start making over this table. The tables have turned and now it's on you. <laughs> okay. All right, so getting started on our table project, because I'm super stoked about this. I have my tile that it's going to go on the top. This is going to be the surface. It's kind of got these like organic shapes to it. These like natural little divots worked in. And I think it's so stunning. I just love how it feels really organic. Now the original tile has the lifted design on it. And obviously I can't do a lifted design on mine. So I'm gonna be using that as inspiration, but hopefully kind of making it my own. All right, so the name of the game was accessibility here. So for the first tile I played with painters tape I mean this obviously worked out but the reusability of this method would be a challenge across multiple tiles so I gave it a pass on the second tile I tried a foam stencil I mean everyone's got foam around but the corners started to curl up and I tried to keep it down with the spray adhesive but it just kind of left a residue behind so I figured this was a no-go on this third tile, I created a stencil with air dry clay. Air dry clay is very accessible and it can kind of give it an organic look and it kind of just crumbled after exposure to the spray paint, but I did really like the look. Because I like this look, I decided to try a baked clay on the last tile and this was super effective. Really easy to use and the best part is baked clay is so inexpensive. Anyone can find this, use it. So this was a win-win in my books. Optimus Primed. <laughs> Getting started on my tile designs, I was using my original photo as the inspiration, but seeing how I was going with a five by five tiled table, I kept it simple and I just went with five different tile designs. Now, if you guys are clay enthusiasts like me, then you probably have a bag of unused colors or leftovers from past projects. This was what I was using to create each stencil piece, and I think it made for a nice array of colors in each one. Wow. 
While I left those baking away in the oven, <laughs> I went back to my now dry tiles. You guys chose the base color for this table to be off white and I definitely wanted the undercoat of my tiles to have this as well. So I used the bare paint primer spray paint in the color off white. The best part about this spray paint is that it's created for indoor and outdoor use. Now, because I was working with a glossy tile, I did opt for a primer that works with that surface type. But for most DIY projects you tackle at home, you can just use a paint and primer in one, which is great for wood, metal, plastic, wicker, and cast stone. Don't play with spray cans like that, Pup Pup. It's very dangerous. All right, folks, we're going in bonfires blazing. If you haven't guessed, the color of choice I was using was called Blazing Bonfire, and I very much enjoyed that. First coat was applied, best practices here, try to stay about six to 12 inches away from your project and move side to side. I personally like to opt for small light bursts versus continuous spraying. This will help avoid any paint pooling and it just leaves your project looking primo. Most of the time your project will need about two to three thin coats. I ended up doing two coats on each set of tile and it only takes 15 minutes for this paint to dry to touch. Oh, she covered. <laughs> we have a new top. This is our brand new tabletop that is going to replace our MDF top. This is a three quarter inch plywood that I had kicking in the old she shack. So what we need to do though is sand it up. My edges are going to be seen and I wanna make this look good. The way that I'm gonna go today is I'm gonna edge band it, put on a nice little veneer on the edges so that it paints up really nice and we don't get any holes or ickiness and it just looks mint. successful <laughs> all right like once this is all one table it's gonna look so rad all right let's get a next or next five and then do it all over again In between spraying my tiles, I got started on removing the old top. Luckily, this was very easy. All I had to do was remove the old hardware from the corners and the frame and give the frame a little tappity tap with my mallet to release the wood glue. From there, I measured the height of my couch so I could adjust the leg height of the coffee table and then determined what the size of the frame needed to be to fit on my new tabletop. To the cheese shack we go! But first I put a second coat on my tile. This is a multitasking project here, folks. Wow, look at that. It's so cute and tiny. <laughs> Let's paint this, finish our tile, and then we can start tiling. Aha. Uh -huh. Slap the table, good project! All right, you guys requested it. We're going off white for the base. And if you're gonna wait for paint to dry, why not add more? So I got started on covering my wicker chairs in the bear spray color, flat black. You know, I gotta say, the coverage of this bear spray cans is just so good. And the enhanced sag resistance of this paint, it just makes it so easy to give these chairs a clean and beautiful new look. It's as if I bought them this way. <laughs> Such a pro. 
And then I went to the Bear Spray color black in gloss to cover my new screen door. I'm so excited about this door. Nice fresh air flowing through my home, no bugs attached. I feel like I'm in a relay race right now. I'm like, okay, that's done. Get back over here and do the second coat. Okay, that's done. Get over there and do the second coat. Dry, dry. I mean, come on guys, are we not doing it all? We got doors drying, tile drying, chairs drying, coffee tables drying, tiles drying, armpits drying. We're just drying everything. That's what we do on this channel. Hard work, no play. Actually, it's all play. What are you doing, Danny? Getting more energy. I think this is gonna work. Is that too like, da 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 da? Zing zing, Wi-Fi. It's got the withy over here. Not over there though, it's just over here. By George, I think we got it. Who's ready to tile? Who's ready to tile? T-I-L-E. much done today and it's like so exciting that when you're spray painting projects how many projects you can have going at the same time and like we were just able to like bop around and just do one here do a coat here let that dry go over to the next one I'm so excited to see this come together I'm so excited for that table it looks so dope I'm gonna go shower and uh, I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> Started the day off good, got a good workout in. I'm excited because we're gonna do the lockers today and uh, I just think that's gonna be like a really good creatively freeing project. And uh, after that, we basically just start to transform this whole space and I got some lights we're gonna put up and it's just gonna be so magical, so I'm excited. Yeah, just getting in my cup of joe first and uh, we'll get going. Okay, we're starting with the lamb. Let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to stay about 12 inches off my project. And again, as always, small motions all the way across. So, first coat's done, we're gonna let this dry and then we'll flip it over, do the other side. Let's go prep the lockers so that we can start the project. I'm so excited! Sorry, simmer. First and foremost, we need to get this space prepped. This is very challenging to move. Oh my God, am I strong? And after I was done taking a short nap there, that thing is very comfortable, it was time to prep my lockers for painting. I first started by spraying down all the surfaces to remove any surface level dirt and grime. I then used a scraper to remove any loose paint and chipped areas and finished by sanding down the surface with a 220 grit paper. If you want your spray paint to have maximum adhesion, you definitely want to sand the surface thoroughly before painting. From there, I added painter's tape on from the inside of the door to cover the holes and on top of the locker numbers because I just thought this was a cool feature and I didn't want to paint over this. All right, so what are we thinking for the lockers? Let me tell you. I want to take all of these beautiful colors, all 18 colors, and I was really inspired by this one, I think I saw it on Pinterest, but it was a post of this art piece that had the same words written over and over and over again. And I just, I thought it was so cool and very attainable because I'm not a graffiti artist by any means. I think using inspirational words like love and boop and messy and create would be fun adding some heart shapes. I think I want to start with something very bright. So a good pop would be this sea glass, uh, hidden sea glass. So I'm excited to start with this and uh, let's do it. Stress up the groove, the energy a little different when the blessings accrue. Hey, hold your tits like I'm on my tip. 
toes, baby, you think a little too small. I got big goals, baby. Hey, where the money at? Look, I just need the info. Pronto, I go and get it and split it with my kinfolk daily. And I, oh, I bet they didn't think that I'd ever get it. Everything you've done, I get it. The life you're dreaming, I live it. And I'm I gotta say, painting these lockers were so much fun. Fun. It felt amazing to kind of release my inner creative beast with no boundaries attached, just let it be free. Going at these lockers for as long as I did, I was super impressed with these spray cans. I'm actually a really big fan of not only the paint, but just the design of the can. This is not a typical spray can shape. It's smooth and it's curved, so it kind of just fits in your hand easily. And the spray tip is large and easy to press down, so I literally never felt finger fatigue throughout this entire backyard experience. I'm just, I'm super impressed. I went too hard for it. No, I need to beat it. Oh, you mess up the mood. All right, all right. Ooh, I went too hard for it. And I need it. So please don't mess up the mood. Don't, 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 don't mess up the mood. Don't, 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 don't mess up the mood. Yeah. Oh, come on. I went too hard for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't mess up the mood. Moving back over to my outdoor chandelier, it was time to add my pops of yellow to give it a bit of personality. My plan was to just have it all be white with these kind of spurts of yellow, but I kind of felt like I needed to go in a new direction. I don't know if I love the yellow. Like what if I was to take this? Hold on. Like, has that become more fun? Maybe we should just make it yellow. I think we need to go all yellow. We're doing <laughs> so I did just that. I followed my yellow hearted instincts and covered the entire chandelier in blazing bonfire. Whoever knew I would be a blazing bonfire kind of gal? You know? Whoever knew? I gotta say, I was so happy with this decision because after it was dry, I hung it up in my tree to fully cure and it just looked amazing. I love this color. I don't know what it is. I just love it. At this point, I could finally see the finish line. I got my mirror spray painted a nice flat black. I also dug two holes off my deck to install my 4x4 12 foot beams that were going to act as pillars for my new lighting. And now, the moment I had been waiting for, it was time to finish my tiled coffee table. After giving my tile adhesive close to 24 hours of dry time, I was feeling very excited to get this grout process finished. To do this, I was using my grout float to apply my white grout over the table, making sure to get a good amount in between the cracks and along the edges. Now, after waiting 15 minutes as per the instructions, I used a sponge and water to wipe away all the grout on my tile working in a diagonal pattern. Now at this point, all my DIY projects were finished and all I had left to do was add all those finishing touches that were gonna make this backyard feel summer ready. Before I reveal my final backyard refresh, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and thank you for weighing in on my coffee table project. I'm a yellow person. I mean, are we happy? I just needed a little blazing bonfire in my life. But I want to know which color would you guys have chosen to do the coffee table? Would you do this project? Let me know in the comment section below. A big thank you to Bear for sponsoring this episode. Their spray can colors are available in store and online at the Home Depot for curbside pickup. All 18 colors are listed in my description box, so go check it out. Go make a thrifted project this summer. It is so easy. I just did it in my entire backyard, literally everything. So without further ado, I give to you my backyard refresh. As always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye. Thank you.